So the other day about, how long ago did you buy these wafers, Bridget? Last week. Last week? Okay. Yeah. yeah, these are a great product here. Um, Geffen, uh, they are listed as Parv right here. So, and I had looked that up to for reassurance because it says here, um, uh ingredients sugar wheat flour palm palm fat cocoa powder see you never know it when I, unless you do enough research of whether or not something is truly technically accidentally incidentally vegan or if it was um it may still you don't know exactly unless you know um you can't assume if something says, let's say, cocoa powder that it may not contain um, like milk, fat, solids or something like that. Unless, um, see with this, this is labeled as uh, something similar to like certified vegan. From what I looked up on a Google search, that means that it doesn't contain any animal proteins or derivatives. Okay, so that's good. Chocolate covered wafers. Not to be confused with um, when things are labeled kosher, that, that doesn't mean the same thing as uh, parve or parve. So yeah, sugar, wheat flour, palm fat, cocoa powder, soy flour, cornstarch, lecithin, rapeseed oil, flavors. Um, there's a con see that's the question right there where there's a comma after lecithin is from the rapeseed oil comma, and then here it says flavors comma salt sodium carbonate. That's baking soda. But the flavors was questionable for me until I looked up, you know, the, that certified part to clear the way of, you know, that, that means there's no dairy or animal proteins, supposedly, based off of what I looked, when I looked that up. But before I actually um, give it another, before I actually you know, do the taste test. We're gonna do a little bit more research into um, whether or not to validate, whether or not I was confused with, let's say, vegetarianism versus, let's say, veganism, where veganism is absolutely excludes all animal protein sources. But where it could be confused with vegetarianism, with whoever wrote those definitions about this word here so i don't know yeah exactly the take extra extra precaution into that but otherwise this looks like a great product you know i'm going i may try some in a little bit It's a 14.1 ounce. How much do these cost, Bridget, at the store? Two dollars. Two dollars, that's it? They're on sale. On sale only throughout the season, right? But they do they sell them all year long? Have you seen these all year long in like the ethnic aisle? You know, the... No? Because I know that they sell like the... um those matzo balls and things like that in the ethnic aisle. This may be in the ethnic aisle usually, but they probably... Yeah, it's a uh, part of, yeah. Oh yeah? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, it's by the internet. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Do it would be good if they sell these all year long if I'm okay with them because I was, I was craving wafers before I even oh, took these out the other night. You know, I was looking up vegan 
you know, wafers or vegan. Okay, so I'm going to double check and more look more into this one, this product. And then we'll do this, I'll taste test it with my pinky or something, you know, to make sure. And wait like a few minutes, you know, several minutes, and then take a, a quarter of or an eighth, or, well, a sixteenth of a piece, and then an eighth, and then a quarter, and then, a, you know, over time and see if I'm okay with that. So that's how I do that. But first, I start with like a very small, tiny amount, like um, to test whether or not I, I detect any type of, uh, you know, euphoria from BCM7, you know. <laughs> cross contaminants or something like that or if it was uh